AI recruiting will cut costs significantly, but we do have a problem. Eight random names with an identical resume. And you know what? The authors of the studies ask GPT system to rate this for recruitment. And here we have the result. After 1,000 runs that GPT rated here the application of those applicants, we got a result that has a significant problem. You see here that GPT does not treat all groups equal. Why? Because in the training data that we do not know of, there was a bias. And now we see the exact same bias in the machine. And this is thanks to Bloomberg, and they have a beautiful article about this. Don't want to tell you here all the results from Bloomberg. Please go there. But here you see for financial analyst what here an AI recruiting system that was trained on some unknown data now prefers and would here put here at the top of the list of our applicants. Now, if you ask yourself, this is absolutely identical resumes, just the names have been altered. Therefore, if you do a UMAP clustering, you remember topological clustering, there are some other interesting results here. Just regarding the names, how names are viewed by AI recruiting systems. And they cluster this in very different groups that I do not understand how this is happening. But remember, it is all based on the training data. Let's say maybe Microsoft LinkedIn data. But are those the data where people just applied for a job or they just claim that they are or they have a job? Or was this just by where they did not get a job with a non-open source model? We do not know here where the training data are grounded in. So thanks a lot here to Northwestern University and other university who participated. And thanks for Bloomberg and they make all their data publicly available.